Hello, in today's video we're going to find out is it worth to get Forever Burr 4 Kino coffee grinder? Because this coffee grinder is great with the standard Burr, it works for everything between Turkish coffee, espresso and Forever and works extremely well and even better in my opinion than Commandant C40. So is it worth get a special Burr 4 Prover. Let's find out. So, the main difference is the feeding speed. So, the geometry is very similar. They just decreased the thickness of these blades. And the only downside to this bird that I found is that it is very slow, like 40 seconds to grind 14 grams of coffee, like twice as much as this bird. But sometimes it's even more, because sometimes you grind and it's infinite. Yeah. I suppose that some particles could stuck to the burr and create some sense of grinding. So there will be some noise, but there will not be any force required to grind it. That's why if you have this, you crank a little bit backwards and then forward, so clockwise. And that will give you faster grinding with this burr. So let's get to the class up. And before we start, as, as for the first filters, I'm going to use Sibarist in order to test how they go with today's coffee, which is Geisha. And I really want to try the maximum setup for this coffee. And this is washed processed Geisha Colombian, super intense, though delicate but intense. It's Terra Verde, Jasmine, Bourbon Vanilla, I don't know, and Tropical Fruits. But actually there is a lot of apricot, peach, a bit more apricot notes, at least in aroma. And let's get a close up and brew some coffee. And let's visually compare the birds because I will first of all use this one and then switch to to the standard and this is the lead for Kino. By the way, I've made specifically for Kino M47 Classic and this one is specifically for Kino M47 Phoenix. So for Classic and Simplicity there will be lead softer because it will be silicon and this is polyurethane. But this is super dense and probably it will serve you a lifetime. Unscrew it. So the burr change is relatively fast and simple. There is no like tens of thousands of parts and you can see it's relatively fast and it's great for cleaning. A bit of brushing and we are ready. So that's the burr difference. On the right side is proper burr. As you can see this edge is lower and then here, here is more material for cutting, here is more for like feeding, but it's the feed is very slow. So they pretty identical, but here on Proverber it's thinner, but the geometry looks very identical, like almost. And the birds are pretty sharp. So that's a great thing. So I've installed Prover Burr and we are ready to grind. As for the grind size, I'm going to use three on this burr. Uh, let's go to 0.8. It will be better, in my opinion, for this coffee. So 2.8 for proper burr and 3.0 for standard burr, because they have a difference in terms of, like, they are different. When you grind they have a similar TDS, total dissolved solids extraction, when used like 0.2. 
difference in terms of the grind setting. I'm gonna use 14 grams of coffee, standard recipe from Alexandra Nikolaya. See how long it will take to grind. <laughs> Usually it's like 40 seconds for regular coffee. And the force is very low here, so if you want to have uh, not an aggressive burr, this is the one. If you have super dense beans, super light roast, it's way more comfortable to use this burr. So it's like <laughs> finishing uh, up to one minute. Black one for this. Or proper. the burr yeah some coffee particles as you can see ended up on our burr sticking to the burr because you know light roast etc and it takes not a lot change them. Like at home you will not notice any effort. And 3.0, three rotations. And this one, way more aggressive. As for the time, it 45 seconds, second pour, because the coffee is relatively fresh. gonna try to brew them properly but <laughs> it's relatively hard dry pot is here tricky to see Yeah, the grind size is big, could be smaller. Now we're going to try to describe the flavor. So here is two minutes almost stopped dripping. Here's a little bit slower for some reason. Maybe because the shape was like flatter here. And there, here it was like V-shaped. Yeah, definitely slower here. Still dripping to 30. Let's take off. I will take off here on 230 as well to have some stability. Since there is small amount of patterns, <laughs> add for this like setup like stand, coffee filter holder, you can get them in my Etsy store if you want because it's practical. So let's try from 
Proverber. Somewhat green aroma with peach. So it's like jasmine, possibly. Tons of clarity. Relatively caramel ish, so I would probably decrease the grind size in order to have longer brewing time, but we'll see. Very delicate, mild acidity, so it's not aggressive, but lots of caramel. And acidity is interesting, it's refreshing apple type of acidity probably so it's like more or less like fruit acidity not aggressive one not citrus and it became rounded very nice texture is not only rounded but punchy a little bit so it's complex coffee like you expect it's not like green dark nose from jasmine it's like refreshing notes Something like this. I, I can't describe it any other way. Refreshing notes, notes of jasmine and fruits. Relatively darker, deeper notes of jasmine. Like more aggressive notes. More contrast. And more bitterness a little bit. More than here. So I haven't uh, brewed them side by side, but in a row they showed the same quality. So this one, Prover Burr, was like rounded, delicate, very balanced. Here it was like more contrast of the, fla of the flavor. For some coffee it helps to pick, the, to separate the flavors and to preserve, perceive more of them. Well here you will have smooth cup and that's what I see here as well. Even though with the standard burr I had a uh, bigger grind size, it's more intense and less balanced, I would say. So it's like, for the Prover, I would prefer Prover Burr any day. And if you want fast coffee and it's basic coffee and you want intensity, you can use Prover or skip the Prover or use the standard one. So it's up to you what you want to perceive in your cup. If you want lighter coffee with more balance, more delicate notes, definitely Prover Burr is the way to go. And that's it for today. See ya.